State Senator Darren Bailey won the Republican nomination for governor. He'll face off against Governor Pritzker this fall. Here's a look at the numbers. Bailey defeated five challengers, including Jesse Sullivan, who made a late surge, and Aurora Mayor Richard Irvin. Governor Pritzker easily defeated his primary challenger, Army veteran Beverly Miles. Glenn Marshall has more on how the general election is taking shape. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, we officially have a race going on now with the Governor Pritzker. He's defending his seat while Illinois Senator Darren Bailey rose to the top in yesterday's primary elections. Already, Bailey making it known that he wants to win in November. Here's a tip and some advice for J.B. Pritzker. Start packing, friend. Because on November 8th, you're fired. Using former President Trump's signature line, Darren Bailey showed confidence of a win in November. The Illinois senator was able to take over 57% of the vote when it came to his Republican opponents. Thanks be to God, we did it! And we're going to do it again. With some ready to throw their support behind him. Just the faith and family values we need back in our society. Lowering taxes, being good up for business, standing up for life and the unborn. Like, these are all values we hold deeply. And now the Republican Party, conservatives, we all got to come together to support him. Jesse Sullivan came in second with just 16% of the vote. He's already pushing for Bailey, while Aurora Mayor Richard Irvin only took 15% of the vote and hasn't said if he will get behind the Republican candidate. Darren Bailey moves on to challenge incumbent Governor J.B. Pritzker, and Pritzker already throwing jabs at the Illinois senator, not shying away from giving advice to his new opponent. If you want to be the governor of Illinois, well, we have a new rule. To lead this state, you have to love every part of it. And yes, Darren Bailey, you have to love Chicago. And we just showed you and we just showed you that Governor Prisker did beat Democratic challenger Beverly Miles with 92 percent of the vote in between the economy. Abortion laws as potentially be on the line. There will be an interesting race coming up in the next couple of months. Back to you guys in studio.